Hello everyone, welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and I'm your host for another video. So in today's video, what we're doing is a yearly feature. This is the time of year that Todoist released their YIR or Year in Review. And this is Todoist Year in Review 2017. And what I wanted to do, like I have been doing, maybe I started it last year, but I feel like it's going to be a yearly tradition, is sharing with you guys my Todoist year in review. Mainly, the reason why I share this is because I think it's valuable to see um, someone else's experience on Todoist. And I know a lot of you are sharing them on social media, and sort of this is my explanation. And I, and I have the other video of 2016, so you can see that in the description below and find out the sort of comparisons from last year. So I am actually uh, always uh, excited when I hear. I was actually on a run back home today and I was like, oh my God, the, the, the to-do this year in review is pretty much ready. And it wasn't released yesterday because there was a uh, 503 error, but today is the day. So I want to take you through through my 2017 voyage. Again, just to clarify, to this is my go-to daily task manager. So you will see pretty much all of the micro actions etc um, and sort of high numbers mainly because this is the tool that I use on a regular basis. So you're probably wondering um, Francesco why is this in a Chrome browser but the backing is stars and all that. I downloaded the Todoist desktop wallpaper that comes free with this so what I'm going to do is um, show you how to get that at the bottom of this. It's one of the prizes this year which is very exciting so do stay tuned to the end to see that. So as you can see, it starts out with a really simple page. All you need to do is click into this link. So it's todoist.com slash review at 20, uh, review 2017. Uh, you can find it on most of the social media posts anyway. You can share it out as soon as you're finished uh, directly to people or via those two social networks. Um, and as I scroll across here, I come to you have completed 12,391 tasks in 2017. And I think I remember 11,000 I did last year. I've completed 1,000 more than 2016. So 2016 looked like a big year anyway. Looks like I keep a relative average between 11 and 13,000 tasks. I think I don't think I'll ever go out of that unless I change my process. But you can see, <clears throat> sorry, you can see the difference from the start. So when I think I joined um, sort of like 2014, like late 2014, I did another account before that. Um, and then 2015, I was using it quite regularly, but wasn't doing the subtasking system. So you may see that that's a big leap. That is because I implemented that system. So it's going to be slightly different. And you can see this broken down into averages, 34 tasks per day, and that's 238 tasks per week and overall per month, over a thousand tasks on average. Weirdly, weirdly, I was thinking about this today, um, I tend to have a most productive month of March or April. I'm not sure why. I think it's because I like build up, <laughs> if you know what I mean, um, to the point. And if you can see here, <clears throat> during the summer, you can see my summer holiday. Whoop, and then my sort of run down to Christmas. So I tend to have a good start to the first half of the year. By the looks of it, and you can, you can analyze your debt to do data and, and you can tell your sort of low and high months. And as you can see, mine are pretty consistent months there, but not as good as this first time for this year. Um, and that sort of correlates in the dates of the week. So uh, with a total uh, 2,093 tasks completed on that day of the week, Fridays is my best day. Um, with Sundays and Saturdays, I think slightly better than last year anyway. So going down to the time of day, you can see that uh, according to the productivity uh, boost at the actual uh, sort of completion time of the tasks, I hit my peak at about 3 p.m., which is pretty impressive. Um, and as you can see, it sort of builds up across the day and then just drops off. <laughs> so maybe that means that I am a little bit of a morning person here, uh, strong during the day, have a lull around uh, 8, and that tends to be when I go out of the house, if I'm honest. Um, if I'm going to a cafe or something like that. And this will be tend to be the time that I walk home from a coffee shop. So you can see, you can actually correlate this data. And this tends to be the time that I shut off for the evening. Becca arrives home about 6 p.m. <laughs> so you can see that sort of data being quite valuable. 
So you can see here, the most productive day of the year, May 11th, apparently I completed over 100 tasks. Maybe I was clearing out a project or maybe I bulk, bulk completed some tasks, but that's a lot of tasks completed in a day. Um, and I postponed most of my tasks till Thursday at 3 p.m. That sounds about right. Uh, moving on to the longest day streak was uh, of the year was 130 days. Um, I think my highest day streak is 300, but I believe I screwed it up this year. Um, and my longest week streak was 23 weeks. Um, so I think I rebuilt that one. Um, I'll have to double check. But my overall one is slightly different to that. And finally, the karma points, 8,406 8, karma points. I'm already in the Enlightened, which is fantastic, and which puts me in the top 1% of Todoist users. I actually only know one person is beating me on Karma. Um, obviously, that's it's very irrelevant, but you know what I mean. Uh, so prizes down here, so you get prizes dedicated to what quadrant you're in. So if you're in the top 10 of Todoist users, you will get uh, rewarded with the following. A limited edition Todoist wallpaper, which I am going to download for my iPhone, um, because I've already got the current Todoist wallpaper. This new... Uh, uh, like uh, space wallpaper looks fantastic. I will definitely be downloading it, but you download it there and it zips it automatically. Um, I'll check a look at brain.fm uh, mainly because I am looking at those learning tools and freedom. I haven't fully checked out freedom, so I've got 30% off those two. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, as you can see, they've got a few social media buttons, but they've also got the new Skillshare course they've got available. So do make sure to check that one out. Um, the reason why I mention that is because Todoist have a really strong oh, oh, Todoist have a really strong record on Skillshare. They also have Mike Vardy, who I'm not not fully confirmed yet. Although we have put a date down, I don't want to jinx it in any way. I will be bringing on to the YouTube channel very soon. Who we will talk a little more about Todoist. He does an absolutely amazing Skillshare class. Basically, I'm going to put both of these in the description below because I think they'll be valuable. And this is a full course on productivity in this day and age, the digital age. It is about 30 minutes long, but it's already got a thousand students and it only got released the other day. So that I'm going to put in the description below so you guys can go check it out. But anyway, guys, that was to do a steer and review. If you haven't yet checked yours out, I will put it in the description below so that you guys can go away and use it. But as I'm mentioning, this is my daily task manager. So as you can imagine, it gets built and built up over the year. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, I'm going to have more videos this week as well. Um, <clears throat> and I'm also going to have videos next week too. So feel free to stop by if you're brand new to the channel. Hit that subscription button if you're a regular. Uh, well, you know, uh, communicate in the comments. Uh, be great to hear back from you. Um, and of course, uh, do join the community too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.